going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk a little bit about the game Titanfall and in its beta form now I'm sure that some of you have already seen the game in some form whether it be the video trailers or the uh, YouTube videos put up or live streams but we're going to give a little basic overview here for those that may not have seen it now the game has a lot of the generic multiplayer feel to it when it comes to the game modes you have your team deathmatch, your hard point, your last titan standing, which is basically last man standing for most games, and then the variety pack for a little bit of mix of all of those. Now I'm sure there'll be a lot more out there, but as of right now we haven't seen anything unique to this game specifically that doesn't portray the other games such as Battlefield and Call of Duty. Delving into your online persona, the game has a lot of the customization that most of the big name games have currently. You have custom slots with custom weapons, secondaries, abilities, utilities, all of those things that make your character you. Now the only thing that I haven't seen so far, and again this is just in beta form, is like the pure customization of only the aesthetics or the appearance of your character. Now I know that there are certain uh, things in the game that dictate how your character reacts and how it works. But as far as just the cosmetics of it, I haven't seen that yet. But so far, I do enjoy the depth of customization that they have implemented at this point. One little thing that I do like about the game that keeps it interesting for me, and it seems that you can always unlock something, is what they call burn cards. Now these burn cards, you can have three at a time during any one particular match. And you can use them at any time that you want to, but you have to be careful once you use them and you die or you use up its ability then it in fact is burnt and it's no longer around but basically you unlock these abilities that either upgrade weapons your armor abilities give you extra percentages of XP while doing certain things and these kind of keep it interesting especially at this point since the level cap is 14 for the beta and in this point we start to get into the evolution of your character as you play as again, right now the level is 14 for the max level. Uh, but you do have a lot of information that hit, that's in the personal stats that you can look into and give you some insight of what the characters may do when they evolve. Now another thing that they have implemented into the game that most of the other games have are challenges. Now these challenges are many categories, so there's something... It appears to be that there's something always to do. However, by doing certain particular ones you can either unlock burn cards or XP bonuses or things of that nature. We don't really know the depth of how much you can unlock by completing these challenges just yet but uh, from what I've seen and what I've looked through by looking into this is that there's always something to do so the game doesn't have that you know dead-end content feel to it that some of the other games might. Now Call of Duty has this sort of same system in place um, but again, we can't really get a judgment off of that until we see what all is available inside the actual game on release and what these challenges can unlock and do for us once we complete them. So to sum up the Titanfall beta, it's been extremely pleasant. I haven't had one issue or glitch with it so far, personally. I'm sure I'll run into one eventually. But up until this point, the game has been extremely polished and I look forward to the game dropping and I will have it on release date and be live streaming it and putting up videos for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it didn't give you some sort of an enthusiasm to try to get a beta key for yourself. And if you're lucky enough to get a hold of one, send me a message and we'll play together. If you guys are looking forward to seeing some videos like this in the future for Titanfall, make sure you follow the channel and check out the social networks below the video here so you can stay up to date on what I'm doing and when I'm going to do it. This is Vostik, and I look forward to seeing you on the battlefield.